More dead children. Not Palestinians, but members of the minority Druze religion. Living in the Israeli-controlled Golan Heights, a territory Israel annexed from Syria four decades ago. On Saturday, a rocket hit a soccer field there, killing a group of 12 children and teens, injuring many more. It is the deadliest event on Israeli-controlled territory since the October 7th Hamas attacks. The Iran-backed, Lebanon-based Hezbollah militant group has denied it's to blame. But on Saturday, it had claimed it was carrying out other attacks nearby. Israel's defense minister visited the site of the killings Sunday. Innocent boys and girls, it's just heartbreaking. I told you, Hezbollah is responsible and it will pay a price. Israel says it struck back at Hezbollah targets deep inside Lebanon, continuing an exchange of fire that began on October 8th last year. International pressure could hold Israel back from a very strong retaliation, according to this former Israeli intelligence official. It will be done in a frame of something that the Iranians and the Hezbollah could swallow a bitter pill without push to a point where they will have to retaliate in a way that might result in a dynamic of a, of a whole outward. A scenario the Biden administration says it wants to avoid. We also don't want to see the conflict escalate. We don't want to see it spread. In Gaza, there is little room left for escalation. Hamas officials say an Israeli airstrike killed 10 people overnight, including a baby. What have the children done to deserve this? asks the aunt of a dead girl. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.